That was awesome. Holy. Oh my. Hey guys, welcome to Rotorat. Today, we're gonna see if a drone can chase an arrow. Missed. <laughs> missed How'd you miss the barn? <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> Firefighters pull eight foot boa constrictor from Claremont residence. There are not only venomous snakes out here, there are also boa constrictors. Is he freaking out? Yeah. He'll be fine. He's from Texas. I can't believe he's scared of a little yeah, rat. Now we're not in the Everglades, to be fair, but like, we are in the boonies. One bite from rattlesnake is enough venom to kill 20 grown men. 20 men? One bite? Yes. How many Alex's do you think you could kill? Like 40 then? <laughs> FPV? Yeah. Like, this is kind of a good spot to fly. Do you like rip it out here? Yeah, it's actually the best. Are you hanging out or are you yeah, just. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna hang out. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Hey, one of them's just... trying to scare the rattlesnakes. Rattlesnakes? Yeah. Should yeah. he be worried? Yeah, tell him to be terrified. Yeah. Have you, have you ever seen one though? I've never seen you one. Never, yeah. Could you tell him that you've only lost one friend? Sure, <laughs> just one. All right, so I'm setting up everything on the Osmo Action. It's actually capable of up to 240 frames per second. I think that would make for the most killer shot if we had it filming in slow motion. But before we jump straight to that, I think we're gonna go with a 4K at 60 frames per second. The other thing we're gonna do is pop on an ND filter because it is a super bright day. With the ND filter, we'll get a nice blurry background so we'll be able to see the arrow crisply. So the FPV setup I'm running in here is the DJI system with the Cadex Vista. It fits in a really tight, narrow frame. So we're starting to see the HD systems get even smaller. Now we're being able to put it in these compact machines which go even faster, perform even better. If we're coming from racing, everything happens very, very fast. We're moving through five by five foot gates at 85, 90 miles an hour. So this is just a moving object in open air. How hard can it be, right? There's no one I trust more to do the most difficult of shots. Do I think we'll be able to chase it? Hell yeah. Have you met the pilot? Once we can figure out how fast this arrow is gonna be going, if we can get that timed right, it'd probably take about three, four tries. Although knowing us at Rotorai, it's gonna take us all day, <laughs> so. So we don't know exactly how fast these arrows are gonna be flying. We're gonna try and figure that out. We've got a radar gun here. That'll tell us uh, what kind of speeds we're gonna need to hit with the drones if we actually wanna be able to chase these things. It says 57. That's pretty fast, dude. You think you can chase a 57 mile an hour target? Yes, I can. <laughs> two 63s, two 61s, and a 57. Average is exactly 61. So, so our five inch drones on four cell, five cell, and six cell go anywhere from about 60 to 80 miles per hour, sometimes a bit faster. <laughs> that was good. 80 miles an hour. That was not, I was half throttle. That was only half that throttle? Was half th Here, let me do a full throttle. <laughs> 130. You gotta be at least three miles an hour off, right? Because we're not supposed to go over 100 miles an hour. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> I mean, a thing? it's a thing. There's definitely a margin of error in this, so you're probably only going like 99.5 miles an hour, right? I, I think exactly. so. I think he's yeah, right. Yeah, probably only 99. This grass line is our threshold. You do not cross this threshold if someone else is holding the bow, and you don't draw the bow if anyone is across this threshold. Basically, the idea is arrows should only fire that way, and there should never be anyone that way if there's any potential for an arrow to be fired. So just trying to keep everything as safe as possible. Do you know where the throttle is going to have to be to hold 60? Because I mean, we're pretty yeah. consistently 60 miles an hour on the arrow. But I think at about 40% power is where I'm going to need to be. I'll just tell you when to go. Go. I can't I even. I think see. I gotta release later. Yeah, I can't even. Can I set this on high quality mode maybe, and that'll help me see better? Let me try well, high. you were way behind. I think I need to release it right when you get next to me, because I don't think you're gonna catch All right, up. I'm here. in high quality mode. Please. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, you can't even see it. I was I was on it every single time. I just between us, I don't think it's that cool. But let me try and go frame by frame. We'll see if we can even see this thing. Yeah. I don't see it at all. I saw the arrow in my goggles. I can't, right I mean, past the target. I can't even see it. You wanna just go to that grassy area instead? Yeah, we can try the grassy area. Go, let's go, go for it. All right, so we're still having trouble getting the arrow in the frame. I think the biggest issue is timing. Alex is thinking that it's more like a speed issue, so he increased the camera angle even more so that he can go faster. So if I was chasing a very slow moving object, you lower the camera angle. The faster you have to fly, the more you have to tilt the drone forward. Because of that, we don't want our camera looking straight down at the ground. So we have to angle it up like this in order to be able to chase the moving object. So he's got his higher camera angle, and we're also gonna try having me Tell Sean when to fire so that 
adding a third person to the equation will somehow reduce error. Fire. I'm, that's in frame for sure. There this we go. Fine. See, that's what I was saying. Sooner, I think. The timing was good on I that. I think that's it. Fire. Now, now. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. That was a good one. Oh, there, now I can see it. Yep. It's going up. See, I think. More camera angle. I more think. camera angle. Holy crap, because it's going out of frame. That is an insane amount of angle. We're definitely going to want that high frame rate, too. We're going to try some high frame right now because it's just happening so fast. We've raised the frame rate up to 240. That's limiting our resolution to 1080. But with that high frame rate, it's going to allow us to slow down the shot and get more out of it. We did have to compensate for the change in exposure, though, because with that higher frame rate, you can't run the same shutter speed we were before. So now our shutter speed, I've locked it at 1 500th of a second. And I did have to go to a lighter ND. So now we're just at ND4, ISO is locked at 100. This should be the most beautiful shot ever. Yeah. I'm just gonna go crazy. I'm just gonna go crazy while he's not looking. That's a lot. Eddie? That's, That's the Sharpoo angle much. right let's there. Let's just How do it. How much more did you give it? Enough. <laughs> no, you, let's just let's just try it. All right, I'm ready. Is Drew ready? I'm ready. Okay. Did you hit record on the camera, Alex? Yeah, uh, no. No? Landing. <laughs> <laughs> It can't. It'll, it's gonna be a juicy flick. You're gonna. You're gonna lose sight of it. It's one of the. Over top of it, and then okay. go around. Go. That was awesome. Holy shit! That might have been the best shot. Oh my god! That was the best shot. Oh my god! There it is. Oh. oh. There it is. There it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> no, okay. That was pretty <laughs> so rad. You gotta do that again. Holy okay, crap. Gotta okay, that we gotta again. do that there again, but go. we need that, because I want to see him fire. Like, you gotta um, not lose it. Just, can you fly better? Oh, oh, it on. worked the first time. That's not how physics work. Yeah, I said you're either gonna A, get the launch and miss the rest of it, or you're going to so, miss the launch you, and get you, the rest of it. It's physically you're impossible. You get Because the moment you it. roll, you're gonna look at the ground. That's my point. Because I was with the arrow. Rack him up, do it Rack him up, rack him up, rack him up. As good as it's gonna get. Good job, good job. Oh, that was sick. Yeah, you know what? That's, that's I'll it. admit, I was I was probably a pessimist beforehand. I didn't think it looked cool. I think it looks cooler than I thought. I'll say after seeing Alex do it, I don't think I could do it. I was thinking I could do it if I had to, but Alex would have a better chance of pulling it off. Now that I've actually seen it happen, and how many tries it took, I don't I don't think there's too many people in the world that could even chase that. That's intense. It's like such a small target, and it's moving so fast. I think we underestimate how difficult it would be, and I'm, I'm glad we brought Alex. Don't show him this clip. We're trying to keep him modest, right? The best dang drone pilot in the world. <laughs> trying to be humble, <laughs> and if they're not helping. <laughs>